Hello, hello. So it's almost the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022. And uh, it's a good time to reflect on the last year, maybe even on the last two years. So, you know, when uh, 2020 started and uh, COVID was starting, I think lots of us said to ourselves, we just need to hold on until the end of 2020. Well, then it was clear it was not going to be over. And we said, we just need to hold until the end of 2021. And now it's clear that this is not, not enough. That uh, this damn thing is still going to be with us for, for a while. And I don't know about you, but I feel that my, my resilience is a little bit wearing. As if uh, something is chipping a little bit uh, at my resilience almost, almost on a daily basis. So when we look for 2022, there are things that are not so much under our control, like COVID and how different governments would react to them and how other people would, would react. But I think that what we can do is think about our own resilience and uh, try to uh, improve our own resilience. And I don't know what are your uh, sources of resilience, uh, but mine are two. Uh, the first one is friends and family. People I deeply trust and enjoy being with and uh, feel uh, that there's growth and connection and they can also vent when things are not going well and I can trust them to always be there. That's the first. And the second for me is to try and gain some feeling of control. I do it by trying to study something, learn something, uh, understand COVID, understand um, uh, stress reaction, understand resilience. So, so for me, it's a uh, friendship and, and, and learning are my sources of resilience. I don't know what yours are, but I'm wishing you a more building up your resilience in 2022, uh, digging into whatever gives you a sense of strength and resilience and may you find it and improve on it in 2022 so we can cope uh, better with what's ahead so to a end of a year and to a better year uh, to all of us bye for now